Hum, okay. Da, 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 da. No, I can't hum. Why, why is it so hard? Wow. What do you think has made Game of Thrones such a popular TV event? I would say it's not just that production value, which or, or the visual effects, which is of course um, what jumps into your eye the first. I would say it's the characters and the story itself. Well, in your session earlier, you talked about uh, working on the animated dragons in Game of Thrones. Um, can you tell us a little bit about working with these dragons uh, as characters? They are growing in season three, um, and they are more aggressive, and they have more distinctive uh, behavior now, uh, which they hadn't that much visually for the audience when they were baby dragons. And uh, this changes now, so you uh, will see uh, much more dragon action from flying, fire breathing. <laughs> You have the, these two types of visual effects. You have these invisible effects, which of course should not be recognized by the audience, and then you have of course these visual effects, which are um, pretty obvious uh, that they won't be there uh, on, on, on a shooting. So um, it, it's still a mixture of both. What inspires you in your job? Yeah, it's some kind, it's not just a, a profession, it's something you I ever wanted to do. It's, uh, it's like a hobby becoming a profession and uh, I think it's that it's never been the same. Are shows like Game of Thrones something that you would consider doing also in the future? I hope so, yeah. sure. When you play the Game of Thrones you win or you die.